This is digital byte computing and we're going to go over the components of a server and the basic setup. So I've already removed the clip, the clip here so we can actually remove the top of it and that is the server in full. So this particular server as you can see from the front here is a Dell PowerEdge 2950 server. So these servers are rack mountable servers so they'll be used to put into a server cabinet. Uh, and these are the basic parts. If we look from the front first, you've got a LED, you've got the power to switch it on, plus LED gives you some information, some, um, it'll display messages in there if there's like faults, etc. A couple of USBs, and we've got a front VGA port, so you can hook it up to a screen. This particular server has six SAS hard drive slots. All right, so these drives, if we remove one, so that is a hard drive, a SAS drive, which we put into the slot at the front there, six of them, and then you can set up your RAID uh, and partition it how you need to there as well. And then we've just got a DVD drive there. All right, so if we're looking at the top, so this is the this components that will take control of all of your, um, the drives, the CD-ROM, etc. We then move into some fans just to keep the overall unit cool okay underneath this component here if we lift that up you've got the RAM so this is the memory the actual RAM of the computer you'll see that there's a number of slots in there already and we've got another is it another four that are free all right so there's four being used and four free okay for your RAM Got some heat sinks here for the overall motherboard. Uh, we've then got a card here that goes into the PCI Express. That is a fiber channel card. All right, so you can actually put other cards in there. You can put ex um, expanders, extensions onto this as well. Uh, we've then got the power adapter. So this is a dual power adapter. So it actually has two powers on the back. So if we have a look on the back here, we've got one two all right so it's dual power so if one dies the other one kicks in um, and then we've got I guess all of the parts that solder into the board itself so we've got dual oh, we'll have a look on the back so your dual Ethernet USBs uh, the fiber channel you've got another um, VGA and a COM port there as well Okay, so that is the basic parts of a server. There is a whole bunch of other little things that aren't too important for this demonstration. But I hope you found that helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to my channel.